Hey everybody, meteorologist Danielle Noyce here for the One Degree Outside Weather Network and OneDegreeOutside.com. Busy time of year, right? A lot of plans to be made and we've got some rain on the way for tomorrow. So outdoor activities will be a little bit tough in spots. Let me talk about it. 60s and 70s, depending on where you are tomorrow, 60s at the coast, mainly 70s through the interior. The wind out of the south and out of the east, generally 5 to 15 miles per hour. I do think by mid to late morning in much of southern New England, pockets of rain will be filling in. Notice the exception. Perhaps the Route 2 quarter, Merrimack Valley, northeastern Massachusetts takes until late morning or midday before some of this activity fills in for us. Some of this may extend into central New England, into the Lakes region too during the afternoon, but it doesn't really make much farther progress north and east. So areas of western New England and southern New England, some showers, a few embedded downpours and pockets of rain, but the farther north and east you go, we're actually mainly dry through most of the pine tree state and in far northern New England. So coastal marine forecast tomorrow, the waves kick up a bit, three to five feet, although there will be some six footers possibly farther offshore along the south coast and reduced visibility. Pockets of rain, some clouds in eastern Massachusetts too, one to three foot waves for us though, so no advisories. And we are mainly dry along the coastline of Maine, wave action about one to three feet, but there will be mostly cloudy skies and overcast skies during the day tomorrow. So an isolated shower in the mountains for your outdoor outlook on Thursday. Some showers are likely in the lakes region. It's not an ideal day to be outdoors. There'll be a lot of clouds around. UV index is low because of that. Periodic rain, not a great beach day either in far southern New England. It's also a great time to have our app. You see the skies get gray? All right, if there's some showers nearby, we can check out the interactive radar. Right on our app, you can click on it, click on past and future and see where the cells or thunderstorms or rain is going to be tracking over the coming hours. It's available for iOS and Google, right heading into the summer months as well. You can download it, head right to our website, onedegreeoutside.com, top right hand side, two links, you just click on them, you can download it right there.